Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is some crazy news. Over 570,000 Uyghurs are forced to pick cotton in China. That's right, China is using forced slave labor apparently. Now over the past few years, more than a million Uyghurs are thought to have been detained in so-called re-education camps. China denies claims of torture and carrying out forced sterilizations and abortions. That's right. So if you didn't know, China's been detaining all these people, millions of people, taking them to re-education camps. And apparently there's claims of them being tortured, uh, de-sterilized so they can't have children, as well as having like forced abortions and stuff. A giant re-education camp. But more recently, something else has been built next door. A textile factory. Days after its completion, a large group of people can be seen being moved between the camp and the factory. So based on this evidence, they're claiming that they're taking people from these re-educational camps and taking them and putting them over to the textile factories and forcing them to work to make shirts, clothing, shoes, all sorts of different stuff. Like this is insane and against human rights. Like why isn't this like all over the news and like a serious issue? More than a million Uyghurs and other traditionally Muslim minorities are thought to have been swept into the camps. But each year, more than two million and others are being gathered for something else. That is very creepy, okay? So every year, a million Uyghurs get put into re-educational camps to be re-educated, and then another around two million of them go missing for something else, which they have no idea what they're going, like where they're going or what's happening. That's every year, a million to two million of these people that are just disappearing. Giant new factories and textile mills, hundreds of them, where they face strict controls and political indoctrination. The first thing our workers have to learn is to love the Communist Party. Go figure. And I was just actually looking up China on Google Maps. And when you actually go into like the desert and all these different rural areas, there's like all these different new buildings and mass buildings and structures. And it does look like concentration camps. Oh, I mean re-educational camps. But now the BBC has seen evidence that shows Uyghurs are also being sent en masse into the cotton fields. Which doesn't make any sense to me because there's videos of China using all these big massive machinery to harvest the cotton, which would be a lot easier and simple. So I don't know if that's true or not. Chinese government said workers from all ethnic groups in Xinjiang choose their jobs according to free will and sign contracts in accordance with the law. It said accusations of forced labor were completely fabricated. I don't know. That's the thing. Is is our news media fabricating false bad news about China? Or is it actually the truth? And China is doing all this stuff. Like, they obviously have evidence and proof and, like, all this stuff of what's going on. But they could also fabricate things. And that's, like, I don't know. You'd have to go in there. Like, if China wasn't fabricating or lying, they should just allow these reporters just to go in there and investigate and check everything out. And now because of this, is saying UK business businesses must wake up to China's cotton slaves and that's what they're saying is that they should ban all of cotton from China and like all the products and even US it's gotten to the point where US bans cotton imports from China producers citing slave labor US blocks cotton made by military linked firm in China province saying it uses forced labor of Muslims China says the US is fabricating news so I don't know do you believe China is using slave labor or is are, are they fabricating news? This is some pretty scary news if it's true, because just think of it, if China does eventually declare World War III, invade Canada, the US, and they, let's just say hypothetically, do take over everything, uh, we're, it's going to the same thing that's going to happen to us. So it's, you know, uh, just, just, this is just nuts. And the UN, United Nations, like all these different things that have been created to stop slave labor and all this stuff in other countries should be stepping in to stop China from doing all this stuff. And it doesn't make any sense to me that over a million to three million people are being taken and forced to ed re educational camps and nobody knows what's going on in there. And I don't know, it just, I just came across all this news and it just shocked me. So I just thought I'd share it with all of you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below please share it with your friends and family so they're aware please click that like button and click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care god bless you all and peace out